गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तवल चंद राणा एंड वी आर ऑन द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ यूनिट नंबर फाइव क्वेरी प्रोसेसिंग एंड ऑप्टिमाइजेशन गाइस इट इज द रियली इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर और यूनिट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द क्वेरी इट्स वर्क हाउ क्वेरी इज एग्जीक्यूटेड इफ यू आर वर्क एज अ डेवलपर देन विच वन इज द बेस्ट क्वेरी एंड हाउ द रिजल्ट इज रिट्राइव अ फास्टर विथ हेल्प ऑफ a different different alternative options guys please refer this all the video which should be belong to unit number 5 because it is the really important thing to learn how the practically query is work in form of software as well as as a developer point of view which query is the best one how cost will be executed how cost estimation is performed and how the particular hardware and software executed those kind of query which is have which have a different different operations and complex execution so please i will just request to all of you please go through all the video which is belong to the unit number 5 and today's lecture is the based on the last thing which we are discussing of unit number 5 known as transformations of a relational expression before today's video lecture i will just revise i will just remind you your previous video lecture is based on materialization view and a pipeline view on the materialization evolution you can store your first query or intern query results into the temporary storage and for this you take a too much time for reading and writing data after alternative options or remove the disadvantage of the materialization evolution we have a second option known as pipeline in this particular case we just read internal query output as a input of a secondary or outer query so in this particular options we can we not store our inter query result into the temporary storage so for that we can remove a time which is available in read and write into the temporary relation and for this they have a two different options demand driven and a procedure driven so guys today is the last lecture and we'll start with the topic of a transformations of relational expression please be focus on this particular topic and the sql query is first translated into the equivalent relational algebra because the first thing which is conversion process of sql query into the relational algebra query then it is represented as a query tree data structures which can be optimized a later on step 1 decompose a query into the simple block because if your query is multiple operations and a complex query then first we decompose into the simple query execution like i will just give you the example if you have performed a three query on a single results at that time we just decompose your single query into the three query perform one by one and generate the final results like a sql query can be decomposed into the small size query blocks which can be solved individually and which can be optimized a further like a pipeline first we execute our inter query then whatever the data should be generated after completion so first query we take input as a outer query let us look at the following example to understand this translation just we take one example consider the following sql query on the student relation select l name f name from the student table where fees less than select minimum fees from the student where d name is equal to id so guys in this particular example they have a two different selection operation first selection operation and second selection operation and we know that we have a different operation on a one query for this two selection operation we perform a two different query as we know that first internal query executed whatever data should be coming from the select minimum fees from the student where d is equal to d name is equal to it 
so first query is executed internal blocks then whatever the data should be come from this block it should be take input as a secondary query query shu che e samjhai dau chu sauthi pehla internal blocks ma apde evo data find out kariye che ke jenu department name it hoy ane ema thi je minimum fees male che e record find out kariye che next e je data male che ema thi apde shu check kariye che ke apde je fees api che ena thi less than hovi joye ane ema thi je record male che ema apde be vastu finally as a output jove che l ne mane f ne I hope you are clear. For you, can repeat. कर दो जो internal block में अपन ने minimum fees मिले जे छे department IT होए। अतो तो student नू department IT हो ये माती जे minimum fees जे ये ना अपन ने एक record मार से। Then जे users enter करा वे जे fee like internal block में अपन ने एक record मिले जे ten thousand। अबे user enter करे जे के five thousand ती less than जेटली पन salary है से ये बदाज record retry करो। तो ये माती अपन ने L ने मने F ने हम अपने retry करी ने मल्टीपल इनपुट एंड जनरेट द सींगल रेकॉर्ड इट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ योर एग्रीकेट फंक्शन ना वी सी हाउ द एसक्यूएल क्वेरी इज कन्वर्ट इन टू द रिलेशनल एलजीबा क्वेरी वी केन डी कम्पोज क्वेरी इन टू द टू ब्लॉक्स बिकॉज वी हेव अ टू डिफरंट सिलेक्शन ऑपरेशन इनर ब्लॉक to find a minimum fees among all the it student internal block select minimum fees from the student where d name is equal to it what is the outer block to find the student detail whose fees greater than minimum fees among all the student so output of this record output of this query it should be take input of the outer block it should be generate l name and f name Among those data, which should be generated in the inner block, and where x is represent the return from the inner block, means this particular x is generated among the output of this particular inner block query. So it is the way to decompose your SQL query into the multiple blocks based on operation. In this particular example, we have a two different selection operation. The query optimizer would then select or choose a best execution plan for the each block. Inner blocks is above example needs to be evaluated only once to proceed the minimum fees among the IT student, then use as a constant by the outer block. Such cor correlated query are very complex for their execution. so this particular paragraph is defined that how the decomposition query it should be work which we'll discuss in a previous slides guys whenever your query is complex or a nested query at that time your first steps is you decompose your query and generate a simple query results like in a previously your query it should be generated in two sub query and this particular query is very simple to understand compared with the complex one query step 2 convert your query block to relational algebra query now we have a two different blocks the group by and having her operations in the extended algebra use for the plans and the aggregate operations because in a previous example we know that minimum is the aggregate function and for that If your SQL query have a aggregate function, and if you are convert your SQL query into the relational algebra query, at that time we are using a group by and having operations. So the first block select a minimum fees based on department name IT from the student table. Final query select L name, F name, select the fees less than T. and t is nothing but your inner query which should be from the storage into the t variable now the third step and the final steps convert your relational algebra expression into the initial query tree because we know that if we have a query tree then we can easily identify estimated cost based on query tree so first 
step is convert or decompose your SQL query into the simplest form. Second step, after decompose your SQL query, convert into the relational algebra form. And the third step, convert your relational algebra query into the initial query. The group by and having our operation in the extended algebra use for the plan and that aggregate option that it is discussed in our previous slides. Now we just discuss how to generate a initial query tree based on your relational algebra. And we know that a root node is always those operations which are generated the final output. And based on our final output, we know that selection of LM and FNM is a final result. So I will just put into the root node. Then based on selection operation, we perform a fees less than T. And now we perform a inner execution T. It's based on a selection of minimum fees as a T. It is nothing but the alias, a representation of a complete query into the single node. It is nothing but the alias. And the last child node, we know that we put always be a last node who can generate the particular result among the relation. So for that, we have a second, another operation. We retrieve a minimum fees, but only from the department name IT. Now we have solved all the operation. Now remaining thing is just use a relation or we can say a table, which should be generated a final result L name and F name. So for that, we have a two different table known as student because on the student table we first find out the department IT among these results we perform find out the minimum records and based on this particular records we getting a final results which is come from the LM and F. So guys it is the last thing which we are discussing in unit number five. I will just revise all the three steps in this particular example. First step, what do you do? You have a complex SQL query. Chhe. A particular complex query is made in simple parts. You divide kari de wani chhe. Chare complete query ne division atho to decompose kari diyo jo pachi enu conversation relational algebra operations ma kar devanu chhe jena te tame easily conversation kari sakso ane samjhai pan jase jare tame query ne relational algebra ma convert kari diyo jo pachi ene shu karvanu chhe post evaluation mate initial query tree ma convert karvanu chhe ane eni mate na step shu chhe tamare root node kyu rakhvano chhe je tamare final results jotu hoy internal Notes clear up on a jet a different different operations as a on a last node clear up on a jema the tomorrow final data retrieve that to a table no need to a particular example ma l name and a f name upon a student time that table mathy more one which is the last of the student table defined carriage i think thumbna atya sudini jk upon was to update discuss courage a unit number five ma but he was to some jati as a जो नो समझाती हो तो वीडियो एक थी बेवर फरियो कर जो जो बट आ यूनिट साउथी वधारे इम्पोर्टेन्ट है जहरत तो मैं एस ए डेवलपर जॉब करो जो आई होप यू आर लाइक माय वीडियोस एंड लर्न सो मेनी न्यू एंड इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज थैंक यू सो मच